Chrysler and that new Virgin Atlantic oh. cruise ship. Cool. Yeah. It's okay, huh? So yeah. there it is. That needs to go in the bag, too. Let's see. The next one is... I don't know if this is petrified wood. It's kind of cool, but it's very light, and it looks like wood to me on a cord. Sure looks like petrified wood to me. Let's try it this way. Yeah, that's better. Very boho. This is pretty. It's glass. It's got the parachute clasp. Glass and stone. Glass or stone. I'm not sure which. Very beautiful green color. Again, the look of the Irish. There's the class. It has a black stone on it. These are cold. It's very pretty. Beautiful. And we have another one on a cord. I don't know, it's framed. Needs cleaning. This looks like glass to me, one of those glass dotted things. It's on this handmade bell, it looks like. Let's see if it's magnetic. It is not, it's probably silver. Or wrapped in, uh, it's all one wire, so. And this is carved in, so the wire holds it really well. So I'm not sure what it is. <clears throat> I don't think I see any bubbles in there. Bubbles in there would make you think it's glass. Or plastic, I don't know. And... Got this adjustable necklace, I believe. Yeah, that does pull. It's kind of sticky. Probably needs cleaning. Very definitely needs cleaning. <coughs> I love this. These are little dried flowers set in acrylic. Tiny flowers. Very pretty with the blue background, silver sides and back. Trying to see if it's marked silver anywhere, but I don't see anything. It's not silver. I mean, it's not um, sticking at all. This part's not sticking either. I don't see any, um, it's like an infinity necklace. So we'll be checking that for silver. I love that, that's pretty. I love the flowers. Little tiny flowers. There's purple flowers in there. And kind of little yellow flowers. Just adorable. Let's see what else we have here. We have some stretchy bracelets. Get them out of the way. One's a pearl. These are um, acrylic. More like plastic. And these are pearls with the rhinestones, and they appear to be all there.
And this looks like a J. Crew closure. Oh, it is. It's got J. Crew in the little rhinestone. That's prong set. Looks copperish. It's multi chain, multi layered green beads. Fix it. Let me get the little tangles out. It's very easy to do. There we go. Pretty red. Like a poppy red color. Very pretty. Needs a little cleaning. Like the beads on that. Next one we have is it's got the little heart again. Little dots. I don't know who that brand is. It's got a lobster claw clasp and it is in a gunmetal color. But you have a silver chain here and gunmetal here. This is your extender right here. But it's a mixed metal, silver and gunmetal color. There we go. I had to get it. Had to fix it. This is pretty. There you go. There's your chains. And it comes down to these charms. And look at these charms. Look at this key. Double sided. This looks like a labradorite. A labradorite little bead that's fasted. This looks like a coin. There we go. And then you have this cross with the stones in it. And look how they come through on the back. It's completely opened. So you get that brilliance. Really cool piece. It's not magnetic. Nothing's magnetic. So this needs to be tested. I'm going to test those. Make sure those are just CZs. I love the charms on this. I don't know what that says on the back. Very cool. Very cool piece. <clears throat> oh, those are the earrings. I pulled the earrings out. I was trying to find the matches. And I found the match to this. These were those glass orange and red yellow per, um, beads. Very pretty. Beautiful beads. Love these. I love the colors. So that was a match. And I don't think I have any more matches yet. I'm still looking for this one because I know I have the match to that. So let me put those back over there. The next one was this beautiful dainty chain. It connects up here and you have the two black cold crystals. I don't think I saw any markings. Well, maybe I did. Wait a minute. Let me look. The lobster claw. Yes, this was the gold filled necklace. It's GF on one side of the lobster claw. And on the other side, it's got the number. Let's see if I can put it up. I think it's 14 karat gold filled. Very pretty. Chain. Dainty. And look at the drop on this. 
three little drops. It's just lovely. Very dainty, pretty necklace. And it's 19 inches long. Like that. And let's see what else. Oh, I love this. This is a copper bracelet. And it's got the Lord's Prayer on it. Very pretty. It's not magnetic. See? Not magnetic at all. Uh oh. Okay, let's put that one back. This is a a pretty gold tone statement necklace with the lobster claw clasp. Okay, there it is. And it's got nowhere on it. It's absolutely beautiful. I like the geometric design on it. Pretty statement necklace. Here's the back. As you can see, it's very clean. Looks like it's never been worn. Amazing. <clears throat> Here is like a Lariat necklace. Some people call them Y necklaces too. But you got your little dangles like Lariat would do. Snake chain. Lobster claw class with an extender. It's probably a three or four inch extender. Very pretty. None of the rhinestones are missing. Love that. And it is gold tone. There's that one. And then <clears throat> there's this one. And it is marked Catherine. Popesco, France. Here's the back. So it looks like it was stamped because it's come through on the back. Looks like a copper or a brass attachment. It's got an extender. Two, two and a half inch extender. It's got a spring ring clasp. And then it's got these sweet little charms on it. You have a heart. And then you have a heart with an embroidered, with framed in, a, in swirls. And a little key. Very pretty. I don't see any more marks on these. <clears throat> like I said, it looks like it's brass. Very pretty. Let's see if it's magnetic. No, it's not magnetic. None of it is, except for the spring ring clasp. So it's either gold or it's um, brass. I'm not sure. It needs to be tested. Tested for gold. If it's not, then I'll assume it's brass. And I believe we're nearing the end here. The last was a pile of Mardi Gras for decorating. And a little French wire earring. 
Well, that's all of this jar, guys. Thank you for hanging in here with us. Um, and we will be back with another jar, and I'll have my helper with me. And if you like these videos, we'd like to get notified, make sure you subscribe and hit the, the um, notification bell. Uh, my next giveaway will be at 600 uh, subscribers, so tell your friends, share the videos, and let's see if we can get it up to 600 so I can do a giveaway. Last giveaway I did was a jar, jewelry jar, but it was curated by me <clears throat> because I didn't want you to have this stuff in it. Unless, of course, that's what you want in it. And a lot of this stuff in it, loose stuff, which that looks like it goes to that necklace I need to fix from Charleston. So I'm getting ready to test it. Thank you guys, and again, have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next jewelry jar opening with my partner, Daryl, my wonderful husband, Daryl, but he's also my partner in jewelry duty. Bye now.